Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com, and it sounds pretty weird when I speak. I can feel like it's like things are going like lispy, but they're not. I had some dental stuff done, so my lip is all numb. It's like all numb, and I tried to whistle, and all I got was... So I can't whistle right now because of the dental stuff, but this is the top eight photos for the photo of the month for vibrant colors i know some of you out there are going where where was the vote down from the massive amount of photos which i believe was about 35 or 36 well unfortunately we had an issue and the best thing to do when you have issues is own up to them and then find a solution to make it work don't harp on it too long so unfortunately what we tried to do was have an automated process where we put the photos in and then it creates everything and it creates the poll but it didn't work I gave it a little bit of an extra time to hopefully allow it to work, but it didn't. And that's why I'm letting you guys know that I had to go through and make the select down to the top eight because we have to get the vote going before the end of the month. And this still gives us enough time to get the vote in until the midnight on the 31st of July. So we have still the normal time to vote. So I went through and I picked what I thought would be the top eight. Uh, It was actually whichever ones fit Vibrance and the ones I like the most are here for you guys to vote on. And I'm also going to do a critique to show everybody that got selected for what would have been the final vote down. So I apologize for that. But like I said, in any type of business, especially photography, if you run into an error or something goes wrong, you own up to it, but you find a way around it and you and you move on. That's the way to do it. So here we go. Here are the top eight images that I selected and you can vote for one who's going to win the photo. Oh, yes, it's brought to you by Zacuto. We're going to get to that in a minute. The Zacuto Z Finder uh The Z Finder Pro is what is up for grabs for one of these eight photographers. That is an amazing uh, little product there that I have and I love. So we've got A.A. Thena. Uh, This photo, I would like to see it to be a little bit more vibrant, but I think it did fit the theme. And in in the photos that I selected, you had to fit the theme, and the ones I did select do. So I love how the eyes are popping nice and sharp. She's got a nice colorful scarf for shawl on so that this works out. Nice job right there. Then we've got Ahem. Ahemitin Miko. This is very vibrant. We've got nice lighting popping in here in a nice triangular way. Nice face paint that is very vibrant, and that's why it fit and it's right here as well. We've got Diesel 666. What great depth of field. What great background blown out, but beautiful purple. Very nice job right here. Definitely fits the theme. Thank you, Diesel, for entering. Then we got Juris. 109 very nice field beautiful sky beautiful clouds great horizon nice vibrant flowers really nice job joris 109 then we got jvp photography i just thought that this was fantastic some people tried this but this one definitely succeeded at doing a great job with putting these droplets of water and then photographing this perfectly you can't tell if it's standing up or if it's laying down but the reflections and the vibrant colors are fantastic very nice job with that shot as well we've got okay jet tam really vibrant with the green and then you've got the um the um the um the um what do they call these things again this isn't a passion fruit is it this is that softball sized fruit my mom used to eat all the time and i can't remember what it's called what is this called I don't know. People put sugar on it. I don't remember. But I like this photo. The rule of thirds plays into it very well. It is very vibrant, and I love the dimensions that came out of it. Nice job. Then we got Shutter Gun. Shutter Gun. The one of my favorite ones from this is this type of image. I don't know how they created it, but it is a photograph. I love the intertwining circles. Looks fantastic. Uh, feels good. Really plays into the vibrant colors because these are vibrant as well. Then we got Typical Affairs is the last one. Very vibrant sky. Really looks good. Love the lines here that lead you down and around. That's fantastic. All the colors. The scene is even better. Works well. And as always, you guys will get to vote down here. The voting box will be there for you uh, when I get this up. But here is the the Zacuto link, guys. If you want to check out what they offer in the store, go ahead and click it right here. It's going to take you over to their store where they have all of their items that you can check out. Uh, this is what it is. It's a Z Finder 
what's that, the C100 Z Finder Pro? I don't know if that's the one that it's going to be, but Z Finder products, let's click on that. And stay tuned, because right after this, we're going to go and do the critique of all the other ones that were there. So that, I guess they've got some sales on the Juniors, Z, Z Finder Pro, it's this one. It's the Pro 3X, worth 395 bucks. So if somebody's going to win that, check out the stuff uh, on their page. Just go ahead and click that link right here for the Zacuto, and you can see what they offer. There's some really, really solid deals that they have, and I do highly recommend checking out their products because they are one of the best I at what they do. So I'll be right back with the photos that are basically the top vote down ones, uh, just so you guys can be there and see that your photos did make it. Be right back. Okay, here we go. So these are the photos that I would have uh, that I was going to put up for the final vote down, so that you guys could pick the top five. But they didn't uh, because of that issue. I'm just going to show you so that you guys get to see that you did make it. Uh, you would have made it to that vote. So here we go. I would have loved to have seen this to be a little bit more vibrant. I didn't think it stood out as a extremely vibrant image, but I liked the scene. I liked the, where the hand is. I liked this. I liked that the cherry's in focus and the background is extremely blown out. So this worked well too. It's a nice panning image of this car coming around the corner. It looks good. Nice job. Then we got the fireworks because that was part of July. These fireworks look very good as well. Um, so nice. I like that. It's probably a, a nice composite of multiple firework images, but I think it looks really, really good. And that would look beautiful as an, I can't even say beautiful with the way that my lip is. Uh, that would make a great illuminized print. Nice job. Uh, the Texas flag basically, but it is pretty vibrant. It works very well. Like the shot. Nice job, CR. Um, then we got the pistol and the stamen, I believe of the rose. This works well. Uh, a top-down shot of this girl. It's not super-duper vibrant. Um, you can see that there is a creative crop. I like how the focus is right on her. And then it just fades away as you move further out. Uh, same thing here. We've got a uh, hand holding a bunch of berries. I just thought this was cool. It's like a pear. In, uh, it's a grapefruit. That was the fruit from earlier. A grapefruit. There, I figured it out. A mini cart and, uh, and, a, and, a, and a pear in there. It looks pretty cool. This is cool too. Top, I love these top-down shots with the uh, the fly in there. The nice colors looks very good. Nice job. Uh, I would have liked to have seen the whole thing in the picture, not just cutting off the side. I guess they tried to play rule of thirds, but in something like this, I think I would have liked to have seen the whole thing, um, and I would have liked it better. How? <laughs> what are you looking at? I'm a bug. What is this like a prey mantis or something? Just cool. It's like, hey, what's up? Hey, what's up, bug guy? I'm a bug guy. You're no bug guy. I'm a bug guy, guy, guy. I haven't talked like animals in a while. I'm sure somebody's going to get upset at it, but whatever. Uh, looks good. Nice separation. Great with the green. Great with the purple. Those are very complimentary colors. Thought this was cool, too. If you get a closer look at this one, you can see that there's a bunch of, uh, there's like a screen behind it. So it kind of gives it this textured look. So it's pretty interesting. Uh, vibrant, nice landscape or cityscape. This wasn't vibrant enough. Uh, if this was for something else, it would stand out very well for a contest, but I didn't think it was vibrant enough and fit the theme, but I did like that photo, so I would have put it up for a vote for everybody to check it out. I and mean, this is a nice shot of this clip. This is a nice pink clip, like nice background, nice bokeh, nice job. Um, there you go. I thought this was okay, not bad. This was cool. I know it's an HDR shot, but I don't care. It looks good. Um, feels good. Nice shot as the sun looks like it's going down the clouds look great the grass looks cool very nice job the crayons uh it was a little i would have liked to have seen more it is vibrant and they did build this but i don't know it just seems kind of on the boring side um what is this chicago no it's not chicago is it or is it new york i don't even know where this is somebody tell me where this is i don't know it's a nice landscape it's a nice cityscape then you got this thing. Is that an apple? Not really sure, but this looks cool. Nice colors. Um, really pumped up. I like this. This is a nice night scene. These are vibrant sky colors. Don't know if it's a composite of multiple images or what, but it's a nice long exposure. Looks good. Nice job. Um, this was fine. I think it's a cool portrait. Like the light on his face. Like the eyes. Looks good. Uh, taste the rainbow. The Skittles just wasn't vibrant enough for my liking. I like that it's like a road and it goes all the way back. Uh, this, <laughs> and then you got this levitation type shot that this girl has here. Looks pretty good. And then running on the beach. This is cool. Uh, I like the silhouette. Nice job right there. 
Uh, the shoes sitting here, not bad. And then the tree shot looking up. So th those were the images that would have been voted down, but I kind of think that I picked some really good ones that fit the theme and could possibly win that Zacuto Z Finder. So it's now up to you guys to vote. You have until July 31st at 1159 p.m. to cast your vote. It will just be down here where it normally is. I'm going to go ahead and build that poll right now when we're done. But that is it, guys. Thank you for watching. Hope you understand why I had to make that change for this month. And we'll try to find a different solution for ne next month. Uh, if not, I'll have to figure out what to do. But thank you, guys. Thank you to Zakudo for being the sponsor for this photo of the month. And let's see who is going to win that Zakudo Z Finder 3X. Jared Poland, froknowsphoto.com. See ya.